likes. How many subscribers do you have? Mm. Not the start of the day that I was hoping for. Come out to the car and find the tyre being completely flat. Nigel loaded up with parts. One pound, 62 a litre. There are no lashing points in the back of a Rover 25. That means you just have to kind of leave everything loose and just hope you don't have to brake hard. I was expecting a rather nice, kind of relaxing, interesting, fun and very different day today. Not waking up to another puncture. I didn't bother bringing any work clothes with me because I didn't think I was going to be doing any. My intention was to turn up in Stafford with clean hands and Tony and the Bandit still at work. Yeah, rather annoying. And then £1.62 a litre. Someone's making some money out of that, I reckon. Weather's not brilliant. Traffic's bound to be a bit bad on the way. In fact, when I put in the address of Mad Ford Engineering into the sat nav, it came up with nearly two hours. And that's driving at 70. And at £1.62 a litre, I'm doing 60. That didn't take long, did it? Being late is one of those things that I've always found quite stressful. I just don't do being late. And the stupid thing about this is that I've been feeling that kind of stress of being late, even though I don't have an arrival time. I just turn up when I want going to be there all day. That's me. Looks almost like it could fall off of that. That's, that's a big boy that is. I was hoping that flat tyre was going to be one of those hilarious acts of jollity that uh, somebody may have done just by letting the tyre down. But unless they were particularly conscientious in their work, I doubt it because the dust cap was on. That would be fun though, wouldn't it? Letting someone's tie down and then putting the dust cap back on just to show that you care. Almost there. I think my exhaust is blowing ever so slightly more. But uh, at the moment, I don't really mind. It just makes it sound like a, a classic mini. Listen, listen to this. <laughs> and here I am at Mad Ford Engineering, where all of these parts are to be delivered today. But I made the rather silly mistake of not turning down my radio as I drove into the yard. And obviously I don't really want to get my video taken down for copyright infringement, so I thought I'd better explain it. Well, Mick said I'm okay to film anything I like around his yard and his workshop and stuff, so I might as well do. And there's his van, which you may have seen in a previous video. A whole bunch of vehicles here, either for some work or whatever, yeah, some Land Rovers and my car. Hello, sorry to interrupt, but I thought I should tell you something. This is exactly halfway through the video. There's Mike's ZTT and uh, an RS1600, I think. No. Nope. And here is the workshop where all of this work goes on. Got to be painted. Why? Mm. It's got to be painted. Give That's that thing I've just brought down, the cross member thing. Second one. There's the old one, look. No, that's, that's the one I brought down. That's the one you brought down. Yeah, the, the other one's rotten. Was it? Here is the shell of uh, Mike's Rover 25. And it's actually got a proper carpet. So I'm a bit jealous now. Hello, yard cut. Mexico cut. Mexico. Did you come back here? Yeah. 
All right, so I am next to a chap called Mike. You may have seen him Hello. from the Drive Tribe channel. Correct. Hi, Mike. Hello. Have you ever seen Project Nigel? I had seen it on the internet. I think mostly on Facebook. So yeah. you're saying you own the is it MG Rover enthusiast? Yeah, that's right. So I've yeah. definitely seen it on there, and I think I may have seen a video yeah. back in the day when I was researching Rover Twenty Five. But yeah, very cool. Yeah, yeah. You're going to watch some more. Absolutely. Yeah. I promise. My job is done here for the day. I may come back again. You never know. So thank you from me and from and thank you from me and thank you from Mike. And me. Bye bye. Well, that was fun. Back on my way up to Rochdale, and I'm very, very hungry actually. And I don't want to stop at the motorway services for food because it's expensive. And I haven't got anything else besides packet of ginger biscuits, which I can't get open because I forgot to bring my angle grinder. Every time I'm driving, my moustache ends up like this. Well, the traffic is uh, very heavy. It's also now two o'clock, which means steep right in the afternoon. And that means turning the radio off. All being well, the next episode of the Drive Tribe Rover 25 episode should feature my car. That'd be the best part of it, in my opinion. I hope it goes in there now. Back in the yard and I've got myself dressed up to do some work, which I wasn't expecting to do, but I'm happy to do it. Well, that is the second spare wheel I've had to fit today. And to think, Tony and the Bandit weren't even supposed to be at work today. <laughs> Go home now.